Howdy mates, the improved video of the Texas store is promised. Last time it was buried in snow and now it's almost blowing away in the wind. I hope you can hear what they say. This is a Texas store. What is a Texas store? It's a metal target. You shoot these plates, they fall off and the store starts rotating. This is an improved Texas store. What's the improvement? Well, falling off plates is the key here. Your competitors will come here and help you reset it. They will pick up plates on the ground. Somebody will put a plate up here and it falls off and hit the, your friends on the neck or the head and it's sleepy time. And hopefully sometime comes awake time, but it's extremely dangerous to get a heavy plate like this on the head. You can figure out for yourself why it's dangerous and how dangerous it is. Other things happen also. Somebody is putting this plate on, somebody is putting this plate on. It falls off and lands exactly here on the fingers of the person holding this plate. I've seen a girl break her fingers and it was not a pretty sight. That day's shooting was over immediately. So, as I said, this is an improved star. Why is it improved? Well, the plates does not fall off. I had, had this idea. Anybody who reloads knows what a beam scale is. If you shift the weight, it will uh, tip the scale. So, there's a hinge here. And the plate simply, you shoot it, it will snap over. I will demonstrate. Okay, this is a very light club, so you see, and it moves, it rotates just like an ordinary store. The secret is not that advanced. Look, th there's an axis here and here's, a, here's a, a rod I welded on that goes parallel with a tube over or a pipe, I don't know what to call this this is simply a hydraulic tube from a car you get hydraulic tubes on, on, from the scrap yard you, you get like six for a dollar or you can give them a, some home baked buns or something they're literally free and you see, it pushes this tube, the inner, inner tube. So here there's a tension, first it snaps out. And then you have the neutral point here, where this pushes exactly outwards. But the secret is when it comes over this point, it just, you see, it's, it's just, it snaps in place by itself. This means that you can reset it yourself also. When you shoot it, it snaps over. Fine. You shoot it from the other side, it snaps out. Okay, notice this. This is important, very important. You need a support bar over here so you don't strike the tube with the plates. And when you put it on, you will take some electrical tape and put a piece of rubber or something. This is from one of these rolls you have in your backpacks when you're out camping. So, so soft rubber, you lay on these rolls when you camp. I don't know what they call in English. But anyway, that's how the mechanism works. Also, I put here a bolt so you can adjust the plate like this. The center is nothing advanced. There's a threaded rod. I don't know if it's called rod in English, otherwise it's a metal bar that's threaded for nuts and wing nuts or whatever. I welded on supports around. This is a box. I open it so you can see. There are two bearings here and a nut. You can just push, pull this nut off and you can pull the star out and it comes apart in two parts and it's easier to ship or put on your trailer or if you need to move it. This is an unnecessary, un unnecessarily advanced base. I don't know what you call it, base tripod or something, uh, which 
probably means I have too much time on my hands. But uh, anyway, it looks more advanced and it gives you more brag factor and definitely more douchebag factor. And douchebaggery is very important when I put up my YouTube videos. <laughs> no, seriously. Oh god, the wind is very hard. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, if you have any questions, mates, just post them and I'll try to answer them as good as I can. And I hope my Swinglish, my mix between Swedish and English was understandable. So, thanks for watching.